This week has been bloody awful in politics. Let's start with the Nationality and Borders Bill. The Labour Party enabled the Tories by whipping its lords to abstain on a measure to force the government to adhere to the Refugee Convention. A party led by a supposed former human rights barrister apparently couldn't give a rat's ass about refugees to the point that, despite Lord's amendments forcing the issue of human rights on Preeti Patel's fascist deportation bill, let's call it what it is, Starmer had whipped to abstain, so it got dropped. The likes of Baron Hayne of Neath, Baron Kinnock of Bedwelty, Lord Adonis of Tony Blair, Lord Mandelson of Tartarus and others dutifully sat on their hands and let the Tories get their way. I'll no doubt get told for the umpteenth time I'm a Tory enabler for attacking Labour again. To such people I'll say my conscience is clear alongside those Labour lords who broke the whip to defy Starmer's wishes and vote for the Refugee Convention to be upheld, such as Prem Seeker, Baron Seeker of Kingswood. Solidarity to all of those who did the right thing. The Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Bill passed the Lords this week and now heads for royal assent. Persecution of the GRT community is now legalised. Noisy protests could end up with you facing 10 years in prison. This is fascist authoritarianism that had been held up in the Lords, who kept putting down amendments to stymie the government until, again, Labour Lords were whipped to abstain and let it pass back to the Commons, where, with his massive majority, Johnson's side have voted it through. Opposition, some call this. The grown-ups back in charge of Labour, some say. But these things so often come in threes, as the old saying goes, and the Tories have now seized control of the Electoral Commission too. They've got their way over demanding ID to go and vote, despite electoral fraud being negligible, very much gerrymandering the electoral process. And it shouldn't be forgotten either that the Commission is responsible for tracking donations. So expect that to be abused too. A truly dark week for democracy in the UK, and Labour enabled the Tories to do it, not those of us saying don't back either of them.